Nah, I'm listening. Nigga, if you're a YouTuber and you ain't going through spinning the block, don't come talk to me about it. You pulled up to the right spot because on this hunter side, we spin the block. And if you want the truth, you got to like, share, subscribe to SJ Got the Juice TV. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so just totally ignore. He told Todd, the nigga too, he wasn't even on the floor. I see a motherfucking lie. He talking on the floor. We got the replays. But what the fuck audio from the day before got to do with me saying your bang? That's what I'm saying. That, that that whole shit right there was is is. Well, one got it, to it do don't have nothing other, to do with this, this night and day type of shit. I be thinking these these niggas be thinking we females. Like, I'm gonna be real. West Coast niggas is a little more advanced at being slick and detecting slickery and fuckery. You ain't gonna just say some shit and, and you know, Ebony tried that shit yesterday with the, you know, we pull you up and you have a bean. Bitch, who say I got a bean when I get pulled up? Did the app change? Does it automatically give you a bean when you get pulled up? Definitely. That's them throwing shit in there that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It, it whack. And the whole thing is, if they would have just had, like, the, it's, it's so simple to just been like, man, you know what? <laughs> I fucked up. I right. fucked up. I should have brought you up. My bad. It, it Nobody needed to go farther than that. That's all you was looking for is a simple acknowledgement and a little bit of respect. Who was Cardney? Who the fuck is Cardney? Who was that? That's the this lady that won. I wouldn't give a fuck. This is my point right here. Who the fuck is Snacks? Yes, yeah, Carney, come out the mic. No, no, no. I'm just, this no, is my point. He's saying they pulling these motherfuckers up, but they yeah, can't pull No, that's a fact. Pull a that's a fact. Carney good. She won the What a nigga saying, <laughs> what a nigga saying, this is whack. I wouldn't give a fuck who she is. That bitch ain't got the fucking presence I got on the fucking honey side. Y'all still ain't that's kidding. That's the fact. That's the no, fact. The I said that all morning. Because that's yeah, all you had. To, you were in the chat pleading, whack. That's what they said. You were in the chat pleading. Bring me, bring me up. Bring me up. Bring me up. Once you see that, bring them up. That's whack. Whack ain't going to be. Whack going to stay. But y'all go. Y'all pull up all these other motherfuckers and it just. The longest I've been on here, I ain't never seen no troll account say this whack. This is what that's what I'm saying. I've been on here for years. Me, oh, whack been doing this shit. But that's why I said the years. acknowledgement of a person saying that that's whack 100 pull him up, double said that's whack pull him up. And he got this. Like nobody was trying to listen to him. And that's what's really irritating to me. Yeah, I think, this yeah. I, that's so why I said now that I heard the audio, because I was saying that this morning, because y'all be so quick to spin somebody, that shit's weird. And especially is saying, and you never know, like just in the case of an emergency, somebody could be anywhere. Like I said, at the end of the day, we run hot topics. The fuck? It could be anybody trying to contact us, and y'all be so quick to just spin somebody. Like, you never know what's going on on the end of somebody's phone. They could be in danger, anything. We all spend all this time on this app so if somebody in the chat saying yo it's whack pull me up just pull them up like why you know somebody that's saying i get it i don't even understand how people saying it's a mistake it's nothing towards the individuals involved i don't know what y'all was doing everybody I wasn't in, in that room. motherfucker outside the weird. double was on some weird shit especially ebony ebony said i'm running content bitch matter of fact let me go that bitch better not listen hey. to AWAC and then the whole thing about it after the fact that you get shot out the room and they come and tell them nobody decides to boom the room there's still about an hour left in the room there's still about an hour left in that room fuck they didn't give a fuck we gonna bump you right down we gonna send you back to leader status she didn't show up this morning either right I told myself she don't show up I'm bumping her <clears throat> worst thing you can do with me is run what I be trying to tell him, Wack, that the worst thing you could do after a situation is run. That's the number here. one rule. They don't run. Stuff, stay, even if you don't say shit, come stand on this floor and sit there quietly on this floor with your PCR here. That's the best thing you could do. Just because when your name's called, answer your shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, the best thing you can do is boom the room when Wack got Oh, that's a fact. That's the number one thing you do. Thing you can do. The number one thing, right? I don't give a fuck who would have done it. I don't give a fuck if Mocha would have done that shit. Somebody like if he had a beam, like somebody should have boomed that bitch. 
And that's why I say it ain't cool for everybody to just be kicking motherfuckers, bro. Straight up. That shit ain't cool. We've been getting a lot of reports, though, about people kicking. Like, even they, they've been telling us people been getting kicked out, just coming up and saying something in the chat and getting removed. Boom, they're getting removed. Just like that. It's been brought to my attention that Two has been getting dropped from stages and spun out rooms left and right for a straight. Two folds. Tripping with two folds. I don't know, but I just found that out. Yeah, he's been getting spun out of rooms and dropped from stages left. Who he just got into it with the other day? Me and Two Four had a back and forth yesterday. It was fun. Nah, it was another dude. Nah, but he don't. Oh, be BJ. Okay. Yeah, BJ. BJ. Remember in the late night whack? Remember they went crazy in the late night. They was dropping loads. So my BJ from Love and RB. Mm hmm. That BJ. He got a mic. That nigga said he got a bite. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. What's up, morning show? Food, the morning show. What up, what's Brock? Up? Brock? What's up, Brock? Shit, what's, up? what's up, Brock? What's good, player? You know, no, I'm just trying to complete the mission. So, complete the mission is to not know how far to go. So. They never look back. I don't know how far I got left. But. They never look back. Don't look back. I'm running. Two fo, who you been? Two fo, who who you get into it with re, uh, recently besides Beast? Two fo, you here? My Beast was the only suspect. That's crazy. Beast ain't gonna kick nobody though. Nah, Beast will have an exchange of words with you first. First and. Man, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's good? What's good? Hey. <laughs> you already know, man. It's been a lot of, it's been a lot of shit going on since yes, actually since Friday. It's been going up since Friday. Hey, hey, whack. So the uh, the white lady, she wanted me, she wanted me to let you know that that wasn't her that made that white power fucking uh room. That was uh. That was little Bill who did that shit, and uh, the screen, she, all the Discord, she sent me all the links that 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 wasn't her who did it. She's like, tell Wack if you can unblock me. Well, I didn't she ran that wasn't her. When well, nigga, when I went in his room, I went in his room. Hold on, bro. She, you know, I'm gonna send it to you too, because that shit was wild. I was like, what? She, she's like, yeah, he tried to try to frame me and make it seem like I was the one that uh, did that when I didn't do it. That was his new room. He started his new room, and that's how he did it. Okay. Where that shit go? The white power shit. Where that shit go? What the fuck did I send that to? White power? Who said that? That bitch, that bitch said. What she say? What did I be? Did I send that shit to you? Yo. Oh, yeah, let's go get a phone. Yeah, I got here. it, whack. I got it, whack. I'm, I'm sending you what's, what's up. up I'm sending it to you right now. Yeah, let me go get my what sun up, hat and my visor. What up, yeah, we gotta go get our phone out here. You call me, bitch? Who's that? Who's that? Tufo? Yeah. Oh, what's up, Tufo? Hey, that you been getting wild, kicked man. lately? Well, I've had a this shit been going on for like two months, bro. In yeah. what room? In every single room besides Dangerous Minds in the morning show. Sleepless in LA? two rooms I don't get dropped in. Dangerous Minds in the morning show. You get dropped in Sleepless? Yeah, I got dropped in there. The last one over there. That's why I don't be, I ain't gonna lie, that's why I don't come to rooms no more, really. There ain't no you point. You said every you got dropped in Sleepless? The last time I was there, yeah, it's been every single, I've got dropped in every single room besides Dangerous Minds in the morning room. You got dropped in love and yeah, R&B? I just, I just went Got dropped in love and R&B. Uh, I even hit up Lebo. Like, I even hit Lebo in the back channel when it happened. Yeah. I ain't never heard of this. Yeah, cause I don't be tripping, bro. You gotta start it saying something, bro, cause you don't say nothing. I yeah. just don't get addressed, a nigga keep doing it. Apparently, Pint, oh, uh, Half Pint's been getting shot and kicked. To be real, uh, it's yeah. the South. Like it's not. It's not just me. It's like all of us. Everybody in the South going through it. And it's been going on. And then yesterday, and it was dropping tink. They dropped tink like three or four times yesterday. But we don't. They don't know why. Every time we pulled her up, they drop it right back down. New our audio, all types of shit. That means run tight ship. 
Then somebody boomed the room. Shit, weird. Yeah, Damn, they out. boomed the room, but they can't boom. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they yeah, couldn't they boom it for what? Like, <laughs> you know? Meaning like they can boom y'all room, but they can't boom the behind. Yeah. Hello. If what gets spun, that room is going out. I don't care. What there's no reason why. This is his stage, his rooms, his platform. Be thankful and gratefully put you in position. Not only that, green beans don't mean shit. But what it really means, if y'all don't know, I'm gonna say right now, is because Wack entrusted you. Simple. He gave you the keys. He entrusts specific individuals with these spaces. Do your job. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot going on. I ain't gonna lie, y'all gotta chill. Yeah, whack. I just sent you the messages right now. I'm gonna send you that other pic too, the one that you. Saw. Well, shit. God damn. Y'all had coffee already this morning, and shit. No, but I'm about to go make some. Okay. But we had a great day, though. So, um, shout out to the morning show. Shout out to Leah. We definitely ran some content. Um, Y'all already ran about uh, a, li a Lizzo fat ass getting dropped from the Super Bowl. We did that yesterday. See, this is what I'm saying about niggas. They want to talk about her being fat. Though. Did you guys already I mean, talk about just, the gun hoax? That the fake shot they up at her? We talked about her being fat. This is why I didn't understand why they tried to put fat shaming on her. Cause she right, that not, don't even make sense. That don't, that make, don't no sense. make sense. No sense at all. That, that's what I'm saying. It's like me. That's like calling like a, a nigga that's in a gang, gang shaming or a nigga that's you know what I'm saying? Basketball player, basketball player. I don't. Well, I don't you know that person that um I filed that report on her decided to actually go back and try again to um be a part of her um tour. The they only person. got mad because she let them go. Right. I told, I said, yo, what this person is, Lizzo, let them go, right? And listen, if she want her dancers, uh, she wants her dancers a certain way. That's it. I don't give a fuck if she's 500 pounds, bitch. If you a dancer, you ain't supposed to be over 140. And you hitting 155, hey, motherfucker, you can't hit too much weight. As a dancer, I don't give a fuck what I am. Your job description says this. That's not body shaming. Okay. That's the criteria it takes to hold that spot. I think the perspective or why people are accusing Lizzo of X, Y, and Z, it really comes from the fact that Lizzo's been an individual who's been promoting, promoting body positivity and or fat acceptance or running that movement as a big girl. In turn, I guess it left a sour taste in specific people's mouths hearing that she said X, Y, and Z. But I get it though. If it says you're not supposed to be over a certain weight size in order to perform, then that's just what it is. You signed up. Them girls were working out on that TV show or that little... Um, because it was a show. They had it was a, it was a whole series of them training to join and be on her tour. So it's like again, if that was a part of X, Y, and Z, I get it. I get it. But the whole phenomenon of whatever happened in Amsterdam with the banana—that's that's weird. That's, that's that ain't weird. That, weird. that nobody that asked them wait. to go there. Nobody wait, wait, made wait, wait. them go. Yeah, that's Hold on, that's person. not weird. Ain't nothing weird about that because it was an after party. That be if you were part of the entourage you got a vip uh interest to it invite to it you this had nothing to do with lizzo's set this is everybody's free time you're at a strip club where they do all kind of shit i've sat there in the circle and they say what they didn't handed me a shot take the shot take the shot take the shot i put the motherfucker right back down on the table so you want to blame Lizzo because you weak, because they're chanting, telling you to do something that's part of this environment. Hit the 
blunt. Hit the blunt. I done had all them chats. The whole shit watching me. I throw the motherfucking blunt to goddamn ice. Why is that Lizzo's fault? That you fell victim to peer, peer pressure. Can I get an idea of exactly what the what it is that they said to her? Man, they saying now they talking about she was body shaming because she told them they had to lose weight. Or the not even her, the people that run her dancers. Bitch, you a dancer, right? Then they said, well, she invited us to a party, a strip club, where they made me eat a banana out of a bitch's pussy. No, that's part of the show. And they start chanting your name. And you did it. This ain't Lizzo on stage. So, so her being removed from the Super Bowl, what is the official? Do anybody know the official reason? Nigga, this is where it's coming from. It's just bad for this. So bad publicity. Bad publicity. Yeah. So, so, Alec, so just like you was talking about with the uh, situation with your artist and this girl, the uh, that's the type, same type of shit. They basically pulling out. Uh, because it's some domestic, I mean, not domestic, it's uh, just a bad publicity type thing. But they pick favorites too, for instance, that whole phenomenon that happened with the Super Bowl and Justin Timberlake whipping Janet Jackson City only for him to come back many years later and actually perform at the Super Bowl again. It just, it's just bullshit. It's just whatever is happening in the now matters. May, will she be able to perform in the future? Possibly. But even with that being said, they called Justin Timberlake back to go perform the Super Bowl himself after everything that happened the first time. Damn, and see, that's, that's where the, the, the favoritism comes in, because this woman has just been accused of something. She hasn't been found to have done anything, and her losing uh, performances and things, that's so hypocritical, because just like Tommy said, one performer can do something, they're right stayed in the spotlight. She just only been accused of something. And they're taking all this stuff from her. Why do the, does the entertainer ever have any recourse when they've been accused of something that they haven't done? No, once the ball start rolling, that's why it's dangerous. Yeah, it, it, once it start rolling, the media start rolling. Everybody believes it, and they just act like that's what it they is. They canceled it right now. They're canceling it right so now. Wait, 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 Who wait, 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 wait. About the they, truth they, they right right now. On some shit, like let's say that you had the Super Bowl, right? Wait, like you, you, you got the Super Bowl bid, right? And uh, you didn't, you didn't built around this show. Uh, I'm just talking on a business standpoint, so you couldn't book other shows, and then they cancel that show. Do you still get your front end or something like that from that? Like what? what we, I mean, whatever she got paid up front, she got paid up front. Oh, you still get your front end, okay? Yeah, because I'm like, because they can't just cancel a show because that caused you to to train for the show they, that caused you to like put resources so i feel like you still could go get some money brock i look at that as like that kanye west stuff right like how they try to cancel him but he still they still need to pay him right so they had to pay this man yeah, they yeah. try to hold his pay are uh, you talking about so with I, adidas when they, when he had you know, some, gotta think jonathan majors it happened to him as well so when he had when those allegations came out the army um they were gonna he was going to do this like army campaign ad. They dropped him from that. They dropped him from a lot of things. And now to come to find out that um, the person that lied on him ended up fleeing the country. So, you know, he was looked like the trial was going his way. You know what I'm saying? So he, he's an innocent man. So Disney's saying like, basically, we're not going to drop him. He's going to continue to be changed uh -huh. in the Marvel universe. So that's a good thing. But what did the army do? He got a, a whole bunch of shit dropped. He, and he had a brand deal. It was a brand what, deal. Did thing. the army, did the army let him come back? I don't think so. Extra that's, that's, that's what would be crazy but to me like that's how it's kind of always been like for instance even with the whole johnny depp and amber heard trial and you saw how that went down and you know courts were definitely not in her favor he got dropped from everything but i believe was it christian dior was the only company that came back and said fuck the allegations i'm gonna go support him and they did a whole dior savage campaign with him that went viral so it's really up to those companies but Again, if there's something in the headlines and news that could be very fishy, i.e. a lawsuit, sexual assault, assault, any of those things, it wouldn't really matter. If it's bad for business, these companies don't want to uh, work with you. For instance, what was that, um, the trans girl, Devin or something, when she did the whole Bud Light campaign, a lot of people didn't want to buy Bud Light anymore and therefore they dropped her and then decided to go for an all-american campaign instead so. was that why niggas was mad at bud light bro yes because i remember like i thought it was something to do because i remember around Yo, that time 
Niggas her mad at that. Is her. Lizzo be eating? What'd you yes, say? Yes, yes, that is her. <laughs> what he said? He want to make sure. No, that is her. Lizzo, Lizzo big, man. Lizzo big, but she like but she getting she getting smaller. Yeah, I mean she she definitely um she's holding it down for performances and stuff like that. She doing her thing. I just hate to see you know people after like just imagine a lady be having like thirty dancers on stage. So out of those thirty dancers, only three feel some type of way because they they not doing the job right. They're not holding it down like it's supposed to. Be I ain't gonna lie, like like. I heard that she got a diss song out right now. This them bitches like, oh, they tried to sue me, but I'ma still like she said something in the line or something like that in her song. Like they can't, they can't stop my shot. Something like that. Something about they tried to sue me, but they can't stop me type shit. I don't know. I like when niggas put it in the music, but I don't know if that was Cardi smart. Song, yeah. Man, whack, you a real one, bro. You be showing love in all types of ways, bro. That shit crazy. That's real shit though. I'm, no, everybody else scared to say something. I'm going to say something. And then when I say it, they're going to talk about it. Believe that. That's a fact. <laughs> Every time you open some I'm shit up, something. everybody talk yeah, about it. Yeah, and I, Jay-Z, I'm at you too, nigga. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm going to say something. Fuck that. I don't give a fuck. You at Jay-Z? Nigga, yeah, yeah, nigga. You made the decision, nigga. I said way too much heat on the sister Lizzo. Your courage got you the way you act. Use your courage to fight through these dilemmas. <clears throat> Women has done nothing wrong. We all have a right to make decisions. <clears throat> Entertainers take note to this. I'd rather your circle not like you for not inviting them than try to destroy your, your career for allowing them to be there. Be responsible for you. Let them find their own way after the business is done. Uh, Jigga, Lizzo needs to be placed back on that Super Bowl show. Oh yeah. Now, now I didn't gave the bloggers a reason to talk about it. Can I wait something up? You got you gave a different per, per didn't, perspective. Didn't 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 Jay Z himself also face backlash many years ago? Because I do recall this incident incident happening, but I don't know all the behind the scenes. But I'll say it anyways. I remember when Jay Z stood up for the whole Colin Kaepernick situation, right? And then everyone was banded together to say, well, fuck the NFL, so on and so forth. Only for, in turn, Jay Z and all of them basically doing an NFL Super Bowl ban and not going to perform, right? Including, i.e., Jane Dupree coming down and speaking out against it. Then, only for him to come back around and do a under the table, well, not under the table, he did a deal with the nfl over something and i remember charlemagne and them called him out for it and a lot of people felt some type of way so it's like hey if she gets backlash and she loses this opportunity and she also face backlash so you went against the nfl only for you to go back to it up but if you get what i'm saying you i get it but i think that what he did with that was i i never was against that move because that was during that whole colin kaepernick shit and even colin kaepernick took a settlement from the league so shit if that nigga took a settlement then why wouldn't somebody else make a deal with him we can't boycott harder than him you know what i'm saying so that's how i look at that situation jay-z taking over that shit is it was all right but this shit with lizzo i definitely believe in um innocent until proven guilty i feel like in this country with the media they crucify you as soon as somebody throw an allegation on you that's not a uh it's not a good like public look like everybody just separate themselves from just in case safe and sorry type shit but that's gonna ruin her whole career super bowl like the biggest performance you can get so, mm. you know she's very lucky um to even be selected to do the super bowl usually i see people who have a long discography get to go but they felt like she was deserving of that she was deserving of it and they probably had to do with her with her being big. That was probably part of why they want to put out there so show some represent uh, representation. Yeah, so I don't think been, that aligns. She's been winning for the past two years. Um, she, I think she got either album of the year or song of the year at the Grammys. Um, she's been winning awards left and right. She just did uh, that um whole documentary. So Lizzo been on top. Her music um been charting. She's been getting great numbers. So Lizzo, a Houston know. artist, right? I'm not for sure. She's from Houston, lived in Detroit, and then she was living in Minnesota for many years. Trying to, are you trying to claim her? Are you yeah. She's not from Minnesota. Nah. 
she to lived steal here, it, like, though. Real quick. But I will say that she did have a great opportunity in her early career to work with Prince at the time when he was still yeah. alive. So kudos. She learned from the legend. In her first album, her song, she been made those songs. It's just that it just didn't catch a break until she put out her first album. So that's dope too. I've seen Lizzo like many me. years ago perform yeah, like song like Juice. Duluth, Juice, University yeah. of Minnesota Duluth mm-hmm. Homecoming. And she had that song. So it's an old song for many years ago. It just blew up, you know, many years later, which is which does definitely Okay, question. I got a question. Who would be your guys' like dream Super Bowl performance? Who would you guys actually want to see? Beyonce. Again? Beyonce. Again? She's like performed like three, four times now. You guys actually who I really wanna see. Um-